Hello everyone. Welcome to a day in the life of an average Aboriginal. I am Las Phoenix Wolf and welcome to my channel. Today is November 21st and it is now 6 a.m. again. Uh, I, I couldn't sleep any longer. I've been trying to sleep more for the past hour or so. I took a na nap uh, the other day after my long day that I had uh, to do. There was some various uh, stuff that I had to do. So I woke up around 5 o'clock, I've been trying to get some sleep, so I thought, you know, might as well get this vlog uh, up and going. Uh, as I did, said about yesterday, is uh, I did uh, uh, wake up early, I went to my cousins. Um, well, first of all, I called them just in case, you know, I didn't disturb them, wake them up while he's sleeping, you know, disturb the baby, disturb the dogs. <coughs> So, um, yeah, he said he'd be going soon, so I decided to stick around and have uh, um, some toast and peanut butter for breakfast, something quick, a little bit of milk to wash it down. Uh, the weather wasn't that bad. It was a little bit cold in the morning, and then it kind of warmed up in the afternoon, and then it got cold again at night. So the weather is kind of, uh, kind of regular, uh, kind of, you know. Usually there's snow on the ground by this time, but the double El Nino is not going to let us get any snow. We'll probably get lots and lots of rain. Um, the scientists uh, have said that, you know, upcoming year, that it's going to be really, really hot summer. So I'm not looking forward to heat. You know, I love the cold. I love it when it's nice and cool. I'll walk around it and without a jacket and a shirt and ride around a bike. But today, you know, I didn't have to wear a jacket in the afternoon just through my backpack. So, um, after I had breakfast, kind of hung out and uh, uh, checked some YouTube stuff. And then from there, um, I went across the street. I put my bike in the, his uncle's truck. Uh, we went to the bike shop. He brought his hooligan in. And the, the guys at the uh, bike shop has really did a good job. They fixed the crank, uh, the back uh, derailleur. Um, what else to do? I guess they kind of adjust the brake a little bit and, and the brake and the uh, uh, gear line. Uh, there's still a little bit need of a little bit of tuning, but uh, other than that, it's, it's good. She just needs another gel seat, maybe a gel seat over top of that one that's kind of wrecked. Um, so uh, what else do you need to do now? Oh, uh, the uh, bike guy also put some new gears on the uh, on the rim that he had, the aluminum rim, on the, my, my neighbor's bike. And he upgraded from 18 speed to 21 speed, which is really good, you know. Other than that, you know, I mean, it could probably still boost up like 23 to 27 speed if, if he really wanted to. But uh, he really doesn't put too much power into a bike when he rides around because... Uh, he's got so much of bad, bad knee. I think it happened last year at, at the scrapyard. He fell off the truck and banged his head on, or not head, sorry. He banged his knee on a rock, and his knee's been messed up ever since. So, yeah, so we're at the bike shop. Um, we had to wait three hours, so his uncle came back, back and we went to the neighbor boy's uh, grandma's place. Uh, we had a drink, hung out, watched a little bit of TV, uh, talked about this and that about the bike, you know. Uh, he did, you know, uh, we did go to the scrapyard to grab another bike. He grabbed another hooligan to fix up. But the difference between the one he has is 21, a 26 tire and the other one is a 24 tire, so it's a little smaller frame. So he might fix up the hooligan to, you know, uh, resell. He wants to keep... Uh, his hooligan and um, oh, we forget what it's called now. Uh, mongoose, a mongoose. Uh, it's not the old style mongoose with the big lettering and you know green or purple or something. This mongoose is brown. I like the color. You know, it's a well put together bike. It's kind of like an iron, iron horse bike. It's you know well put together. And these are mountain bikes, and that is Iron Horse, a uh, mountain bike out there. There's a Diamondback, it used to be a BMX now, that's a um, uh, mountain bike. Uh, there's dyno bikes uh, at the scrapyard too, and that's um, was once 
um, it was once a, uh, oh man, it was once a, uh, just, just a regular bike, with that bike for tricks and stuff, like a BMX bike. So uh, after that we, uh, um, it only took a couple hours, we thought it was going to be three, the guy called us and we went back there and um, loaded up my bike and the guy right there and then we got dropped off and he rode it home. Oh, he was he was really happy. It was it was like kind of brand new to him, and he was just zooming, like everything was running smooth. Um, there's only like a little bit of uh, adjustment to the derail he's got to got to do because there's a slight click to his uh, sound to it, but you know he's got some good speed on there and it's it's good. It you know the crank uh, job was really good. It's was phenomenal. We thought maybe the crank wall would be uh, chewed up and go egg shape but you know he took it easy not just rode the crap out of it until it kind of bust off and he did get he got the other, the other bike to ride around so we got back and you know he saved himself uh, ten dollars from the uh, from the fixings so he called, called his uncles called his uncles called his uncle and then his uncle finally you know answered I guess his uncle was switching phones so he wanted to go back to the um, uh, the scrapyard and get another bike. So we went there and picked out another bike and you know he picked a bike he was going to, to uh, take apart to fix another bike. Uh, it was not right, it, it's not right frame. Uh, the, the shocks are seized, uh, the chains rusted to crap, um, the seat was crap, but all the other stuff, the, the gears and the brakes and the cables um, it also had a, um, a front disc brake, so you know he's already had that stripped down before he even got home, because his uncle had to go to uh, Walmart and uh, buy a few things. So by the time he left, I think we were we were probably had the bike all apart in uh, small pieces, probably within 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, somebody thought we were bike people, like we fix uh, you know, bikes on site. And I said, no, uh, this is a bike we just recently picked up and we we're going to uh, use the parts for something else. I said, but uh, you, know, I, you know, I do help out the uh, kids' community bikes. You know, sometimes I get uh, paid something. You know, I don't really get, don't expect to get paid anything. As uh, long as, you know, uh, the parent or, you know, the family member could help out. Uh, any kind of parts need to be fixed. Um, I don't have a lot of good tools, but you know, some of the tools get the job done. So then, after that, he picked up the bike, uh, that bike, and stripped it down, and then we came by back this way. And you know, there wasn't really much really to do. So you know, I just did, went on YouTube, watched a few uh, things. You know, I was on the phone. Uh, Quite a bunch of times, talk to family members, tell them I'm going to be uh, there maybe a day or two. So, uh, neighbor boy texts me, he goes, There's a day about KFC. I said, Oh, cool, KFC. So, he's telling me it's all, oh, it's, it's so good, but you know, it's it's greasy and it doesn't settle to the stomach too good. It, you know, it's you know, back out the other end pretty fast. So, um, well, I didn't really reply to anything like that. And then he goes, come over. And I said, you know, I said, hang on, I'm on the phone. And I was talking to one of my cousins. And then he said, come over, I'll, I'll give you some chicken. So he asked his mom, you know, got a couple pieces of chicken, a little bit of fries. Uh, the chicken was good, you know. Who doesn't like chicken? Except for maybe the uh, vegetarians. <laughs> But, you know, chicken was good, you know, uh, hung, about, hung out a little bit, talked about this and that, and, you know, I was about ready to head home. I talked to his stepdad for a bit. He's talking about his plans that he's doing in front of the building. Uh, the little, little roof's done, and all the little um, pad uh, outside the door, you know, and that's got a, a new uh, fixing done. And he was, they're going to box out the uh, front so it doesn't show off the old front door, which is sealed. I guess there used to be a store a long, long time ago, maybe like 75 to 100 years ago. So other than that, you know, just shoot the crap and 
didn't really do anything. Uh, the two chickens didn't really fill me up, so I had another TV dinner. It happened to be chicken, but it was like a, a chicken and spaghetti and sauce or something, that TV dinner. And um, I had some water. And didn't really want anything you know, sugary or you know, not really anything I wanted because I had a couple of uh, ginger ales before. Ginger ales is usually good after supper or, you know, when on a hot day. It's better than, you know, Pepsi or Coke because I think it's because of the, uh, the fizz. It just kind of, like, eats lime in your stomach, you know. I, I feel like crap after drinking one. It's so good, it's tasty, you know. One have a can after can to can, but I'm older now. I can't even do that crap. So I've been staying, sticking around with, uh, I've been choosing a lighter drink, like ginger ale drinks. So, uh... As I was saying, uh, I just you know had a little bit of TV dinner, you know, fed the cats. Um, I feed them at night because then I don't be bugged while I'm sleeping. So then I decided to you know pop a movie on my computer and watch a movie. You know, watch a movie. It was it was a good movie. And I mostly just sat around, you know, went out on YouTube a little bit and uh, checked out uh, different sites that I go on uh, just to be caught up and stuff. Um, so then shortly after that, I, uh, I don't know, I just fell asleep, and that was only, only at like 9, I, I fell asleep, usually I go to bed around uh, 11 or 12, I fell asleep at 9, and then woke up around 5, and I couldn't go back to sleep about an hour, so I decided to get up and to uh, just do this video log for uh, YouTube for my viewers. So, um, what I have planned today, um, the neighbor boy wants me to do some fixings with a, with the one bike, but uh, um, I'm not too sure. You know, if it's going to be colder out, it's probably going to be raining. Uh, probably gonna hang inside um, and and be more prepared for tomorrow, for the 22nd. It's, or, you know, even if I get it, you know, people, or my cousin calls me or texts me, says, hey, I'm ready today, it's that tomorrow, then, you know, I'm going to be packed up and ready to go. Uh, I stayed an extra day. I thought maybe there was going to be a birthday party, but the birthday party ch was changed till next week, and I'm not going to be here next week. I'm going to be taking the camera with me and, and get the video logging in for the viewers. I'll get all, I, all of the uh, events as I... As I can each day, you know, whatever you know comes about. So, um, uh, other than that, I don't know. It's not really anything planned. Uh, I got a little bit of money to pay, uh, put away for behind bill. Um, I got a little bit of money for my trip, and I don't really have any kind of spending money. So. Um, like I say, this is an early day and there's not really, don't know what's really planned, uh, but, you know, whatever happens today, I'll, I'll probably, uh, put in my next vlog. Um, so, oh, I think I might be helping, uh, the neighbor's, uh, stepfather with something. Uh, I can't remember what it was. I'm not too sure what it was, he said. I kind of really didn't hear him because I wanted to, you know, get back home and relax and, and watch a movie and then, you know, uh, may, uh, pop in a TV dinner. And, you know, I heard a bunch of stuff that he said, you know, about his thousands of plans and, um, no, what he's going to be doing and, and stuff like that. So, uh, I might have to give my hand with something later today. Um, today is, well, today is only Saturday? Hold on a second. Yeah, today is only Saturday, so I was going to hit the flea market on Sunday, but, you know, I don't really need to go to the flea market now. Um, the item in question is uh, uh, I, didn't have, I didn't need to get because uh, somebody already got it. So, uh, well, that's, you know, that's tomorrow's vlog, whatever, you know, I, I say about that. 
um, I found an old uh, game that's never been used. I guess somebody was uh, giving away games and uh, other stuff, so I grabbed a couple games. I gave one of the games to the neighbor boys uh, that lived in the back behind behind the, the one neighbor boy with the bikes. And I was going to keep the one. It was, you know, it was a different kind of Monopoly. I played it before, but I didn't have a brand new and I don't know what happened that day. That game disappeared. I got, I found it again and um, the neighbor boy's father wanted uh, that is you now for the collection. You don't think he's going to open it up. He wants to just keep his collection because it's, it's something you don't see every day. There's different games that are kind of rare in, the, in this town. <coughs> uh, we don't go out and look for board games, no, or you know, uh, trading cards, or pogs, or marbles, or anything like that, no. Like one day, you know, it could be this project or that project, or you know, uh, planning to, uh, uh, you know, collect something or repair something. You know, every day is different. I try to make uh, make sure you know everything. Every, every day is different, not the same old stuff. But you know, it's still not it's still not that cold. So I'm going to be on bike. You can hear a lot about that. I'm, I'm going to be on bike as much as I, I can. Even if there's a little bit of light snow on the ground, I'll probably be still biking around. Uh, I, I feel better about myself to be back on bike since the bike crash in 2007. Uh, I tried that two years after the, uh, the bike crash and, you know, my body and, you know, my knee and my elbow wasn't really into it as well as my mind. So I took a little bit of time. It took like another uh, six years. The bike that I have now, I've had it for five years, and this is the year I've rode it. I'm scared to lose it because it's a really good bike, and I paid a lot of money, and I don't, I don't want to lose it. I'm not letting it go on my site. I'm not letting anybody borrow it. I'm not letting anybody uh, taking a ride to anywhere with that bike. It's always gonna be on my side, or it's gonna be chained up, not that far away. Now it'd be really crappy if I lose that bike, because you know that's the most I've ever spent on one bike. As that's uh, four hundred fifty dollars, and you know I'm growing attached to that bike. I like it. So anyway, enough about that bike. Uh, not to show when I'm gonna have for breakfast. Maybe toast. You know I could probably do a grilled cheese for breakfast. That sounds interesting. Um, let's see now. Not too sure what we're gonna do for breakfast. I'm not even sure what we're gonna do for lunch. I got, you know, a few soups. Uh, uh, maybe supper time I might have peaches or pears. Um, there's even a fruit cocktail. I think there's still pudding too. Yeah, I believe there's still pudding. I might have some pudding. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna have for breakfast. Just, just an idea. Of what I might eat. Anyway, I should uh, wrap this up and I hope you guys did like this video. Please hit the thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to me. You may share my videos if you like on your uh, channel and hopefully you know more viewers will like my uh, my vlogs. Uh, please tell your family and friends about my uh, videos and I'll be looking forward to seeing more people that interact with you know my videos even if in, in comments so I thank you for viewing my video and you do have a nice day even if it's morning evening or night thank you